Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is December the 15th of 2019. Um, coming before you all to share a dream that I was granted back um, on the night of March 10th through March 11th of 2017. Now, the father, his timing is precise. And I now understand why he had me wait over two and a half years to share this dream. Um, the revelation of it, he granted me, bef you know, before now, but with what has been happening in my home, this is now the time for me to release this dream. So I pray like with everything that you would take all that is heard, all that is said in this video, and you take it directly to the father for confirmation and understanding that you would research on your own and allow the father, allow Holy Yahushua, allow the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you in the right path of seeking the revelation of what is spoken here in this dream, brothers and sisters. Okay, so in this video, what I'm going to be explaining is the dream that I was granted, the revelation of it, and I'm going to tell you uh, the experiences. Like I said, things have been happening in my home, but my son has been receiving supernatural He's been receiving revelations from the Most High Father. He has been having supernatural out-of-body experiences with the Father in heaven, with Holy Yahushua, with the, with, with, he's been to heaven. He's been granted messages to speak. And as he has received them, he gives them to me. And so I'm responsible for sharing what the Father has given him. Okay, so... I'm going to try to make this as, as quick as possible on the dream and the scriptures that I've been led to share with you all for this particular video. And then I'm going to play the recording uh, of my son and then I'll end it. But I pray like all things, like I said, that you take it to the most high father because this is his revelation is true. It is it is the time we are in the time where father is pouring out knowledge. And this is something that father had revealed to me already. But like I said, now is the time for me to share it. And I understand why, because he's using my son in a mighty way and it's confirmation. OK, so I give glory, honor and praise to the father in heaven and to holy Yahushua, our savior, because he is the reason he is the door. He is the doorway. He's the reason why we are able to even understand these revelations. And the Holy Spirit is put here with us to give us the knowledge, the wisdom. Through Christ, the Holy Spirit comes and gives us, gives us the wisdom to understand what is being spoken to us. Okay, so in this dream, and this is this is to glorify the Father. Okay, this is not anything of, you know, this is not of any boasting, brothers and sisters. This is this is to glorify the name of the Father, because He told my Son to glorify His name. He has given Him those words: "You shall glorify My name." So, um. In this particular dream, there was a man in our house and the man was sitting on our couch. Now, this dream, like I said, it was given to me March 10th and 11th, but um, it was around Pi Day, which is March 14th of every year. If you don't know what Pi Day is, please go and search that because Pi 3.14 is a representation of our father in heaven because it is infinite. He is infinite and everything that he created was it has everything to do with pie brothers and sisters exodus 3 and 14 it speaks of what he tells uh what he says his name is okay that's for another that's for a whole nother um video so i'm, I'm not going to elaborate on that i just pray that you do your research and you go and you look that up so the the man that was in our house he was sitting on our couch and it was a black man he had on a hat like a baseball cap in his stature his uh he was very built he was muscular and i could tell he was a fitted man i could tell okay and so as he's sitting on our couch my husband began to talk to him and ask him you know like he thought it was a family member he thought it was a family member who had come because this this person had been away for a long time so he thought his family member had come to visit but all the while, while this man was here, I knew something was not right. I could feel it in my spirit. And so he began to 
after having conversation with my husband, well, first of all, my husband asked me how long he had been gone. And he said almost 20 years. And I'm sure that's parable for something. I don't really know if it meant actual 20 years or what, but that's what he said. So then it's like he shifted his focus to me. And he told me, he said, he, st- he began to talk to me, talk at me actually, and tell me, this is when I realized that this was, it was the enemy, brothers and sisters. And it says in the word, he dis- the way he w- looked, he was disguised in a manner that would shift my focus from what he was doing. He wanted my attention to be focused on what he looked like. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14, it says, And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Meaning he comes looking like he is something of good nature, but he is not. We should know that, you know, he came here um, disguising himself as a man, as a person who looked attractive and who looked like he was coming for good reasons, but he wasn't. Because as he stopped talking to my husband, he looked toward my way and he began to speak to me. He began to tell me uh, what he does to the brains of people and what part of the brain he targets. And as he began to speak, y'all, his words were so fast and so swift, so clever. I could not make sense of it. He was speaking so sophisticated that as he kept talking, I began to hear like my, 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 uh, like my, first of all, my, my limbs, my, (laughs) I don't even know how to explain it, but I begin to hear the cries of sheep and babies and my hands begin to tingle like literally because he was putting off like such a frequency. It was a high pitch sound that made me very uncomfortable. It was not safe for the spirit. Okay. As he was talking, the sheep and the babies begin to cry. This high pitch frequency that I could hear in my head as if I had headphones in. This is what I heard. Okay. And it startled me. So it scared me. And I jumped up and it left me with a very unsettling feeling. Okay. There is a reason why he said he said he targets the brains of the people. And that he told me. In all of that sophisticated talking, what part of the brain he targets, but that frequency blocked out. I could not understand his words because he was talking so swiftly. Okay, brothers and sisters, the area of the brain that he was talking about is called the pineal gland. I'm sorry, I was supposed to show y'all this scripture earlier, but it is the pineal gland in the brain, okay? There is biblical proof in scripture to back this up. As I have on the screen, Matthew chapter 6, verse 22 through 23 says, The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness... How great is that darkness? There is no wonder that the scripture says the light of the body is the eye, not the eyes, the eye. Okay, brothers and sisters, the pineal gland. It is what most know as the third eye. And just like our two exterior eyes, the pineal gland responds to light and to darkness. Okay, it has rods and cones just like our our natural eyes. And it is the connection between the spiritual and the physical world. It is the gateway between heaven and earth. Okay, hallelujah. If for those who don't know this, this is miraculous. Okay, this guys is where we receive dreams and visions, our audible words, you know, um, This is how our spirits interact and communicate with the most high father in heaven. It is the portal to our spiritual awakening or what most call our God consciousness. As you can see on the screen, I put the anatomy of the brain here because the pineal gland is cone shaped. And if you can, you can take time to read this up here, but it produces the hormones, um, 
melatonin um and this is what helps us fall asleep and awaken you know when it's nighttime then this hor- hormone it is produced and it makes us sleepy but this is also talking about our this is talking about our spiritual awakening brothers and sisters and when we are <laughs> when we are uh, our pineal gland is the communication to the most high father. Okay. In uh, Genesis chapter 32 verse 30. I put this image here now. I'm not, I'm, I'm not in any way. This is not, this is not what God looks like. This is not what Christ looked like. I don't know. I'm, I'm using, I'm not saying I don't know, but this is not the image of him. Okay. I know. This is not the image of him. This is not the image of the father, but I'm using this as illustration so that you can have a visual of what I'm explaining. In Genesis 32 and 30, when Jacob was wrestling with the angel, he called the place, it says, and Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved. That is so very true. Do you see where it says God is here? Because he is here. It says, brothers and sisters, in the word right here, this is proof. I put this picture here because the pineal gland is how we see the father. It is how we see our dreams and our visions. This is so deep. Please do your research. Okay. And the father, I mean, Christ, he clearly tells us that the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God is within us. It says in Luke chapter 17, and when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God cometh not with observation, meaning it's not going to come like you see uh, um, an airplane flying through the sky. It says, neither shall they say lo here or lo there for behold, the kingdom of God is within you, brothers and sisters, our father, the kingdom of heaven and everything in our bodies, it is is the kingdom of heaven it is within us okay it's right here in scripture so to move on to move on to the recording and the other scriptures that i've been led to to share in this video my seven-year-old son has been experiencing supernatural phenomenons and i pray that no one will deny the words of this child because the father's words clearly states In this scripture right here, it says, suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not for of such is the kingdom of God. And he tells us also that in um, Matthew 18 and three, he says, "Uh, verily, I say unto you, except you be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Before that, it says Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them. And then he spoke these words. He's telling us we have to humble ourselves and be childlike brothers and sisters. Okay, so the children are pure at heart. He said, blessed are the pure at heart, for they shall see God. So um, I'm going to go right now to... I'm going to go right now to my son's video and I want you all to listen. And after this is done, God said he's Alpha and Omega when he says it. Sorry. After this is done, I'll end the video. I pray that you all have a blessed day. Take everything that is said in this video to the Most High Father for your own confirmation. And holy is Yahushua. All glory be to the Father in heaven. God said he's Alpha and Omega. When he says it, he you do it. Because cause there's no excuse. When God tells you to do it, you do it. Because he is the king of all of us. That, the, the more you call you Jesus Yahushua, the more he gives you the power. Yahushua is Christ's original Hebrew name. Father Yahuwah. Y-H-W-H. This is what he's speaking of. Don't be playing on his name. Because the more 
don't be playing on his name. He won't give you power if you keep playing. And so, God said that, um, God said, what does it say? God, God said he gave you an important message. He said, he, he said that, um, I am, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And don't be playing with my name. Because. What did he tell you about the sword? The sword of light? Can I count? Can I? Can I count? And so he said, he said, I, the sword, the sword of God. And so, and so God. He, the angel had a sword. God was talking through the sword. He was talking out loudly. The angel had, had his wings wide open, and God had his wings wide open. He, he knocked on my third eye. God knocked on my third eye. He said, open, and it did. It's, oh, your third eye is almost like a temple that God's opened. And so... He puts he puts power in your third eye. He said he's gonna keep helping me over my dreams. He so suddenly my uh, my granny appeared. She uh she said I hope you're having a good time in the middle. And so she she um she did this. She blew a kiss. And so she said, she said hi, she said she loves everyone, the people that are in her family. And so she, she said, she said hi to my mom, my dad, my grandpa, and my, and my granny, and, and my sisters, and Caden, my little brother. And so he said, I'm telling you, I'm telling you the stuff that you need to know. Because when the time comes, you, you, you got to be prepared. That's what your mom's trying, your mom's trying to prepare you for, for the stuff that you need to know before we have the war. It's right here, brothers and sisters, he's talking about the war between um, the... Holy Yahushua's army and Satan's army. Oh, he said. And so he said, "Keep, keep praying. I'll, I'll continue helping you. The promise that I give you, the promise that I give you, it. I don't take it back. The promise that I give you, I give you it. So." He, and then he said that he said when when I say it you do it. There's no excuse. You don't say nothing. When he says it you do it. Cause because if you complain and he tells you to do it, he God he doesn't like you when you do it. Cause that's being disrespectful to God. And so he said that um. He said, the more that I give you messages in your third eye, the more you're going to tell your mom. And the more you're going to, and then your, more, the mo your mom is going to tell the rest of the people, like Daniel did. And so suddenly God read, read something on Hebrew on his sword. It was written in Hebrew. He let, he, I, he said, let me, un let me let, let me let you understand it. It said, Yahushua, the third eye represents the, the messages that I'm giving you. When I knock you on your third eye or when I knock on your brain, you open it. Because when you, when, you hear, when you hear me, you open it. But if you hear somebody else, you don't open it unless it's me. Because I'm, I'm helping you with your dreams. And so he said, he said, the more you pray, the more I help you. And keep the more when I promise you, when I promise you something, no take backs. Your mom, your your mom is telling you these things. So when you, so when we be prepared, 
So when we um have the war, we be prepared. Don't you shall not fear upon nothing when we have the war, because your mom is trying to tell you these things. And so he said, he said, um um. And so um, he said that um, God God said God said that um. He said that the relationship I'm giving you, the relationship we get with you. So he said, he, he prayed, I'll send some angels down to watch you while you're sleeping. Cause, and let your dirt eye rest. What did he, what did he tell you about, um, what did he say about always being with you? He said, I'm always with you, no matter what happens to you. That when I that means when I'm facing something, that doesn't mean I have to take your your my eye off of you. So he said, and so he had his arms wide open. So he said, I I when I take I I don't take my eye off of you. And so he said. That the more the more I'm paying attention to you, the more you won't get hurt. I put a force field over you, and nothing could break it. If it breaks, it won't break. And so God, He, we were in heaven. And so, and so King Arthur showed up with his with his sword. And so with the sword. He knighted me. My my eyes glowed blue. Just wanted to stop right here really quickly and say that whenever you knight someone, whenever someone is knighted, they are being appointed um, into a higher position. They are being appointed. It gave me the memory. And so my and so this is important. In the bathroom, my eyes almost turned blue because something happened. I said yes in the bathroom. My eyes almost turned blue for somehow. So God, Mom, you know how King Arthur does this? He he did this on 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 my shoulders. Mm. He nodded you. Mm -hmm. The sword the sword was silver and then it turned to gold. He knight. And then it was like lighting up. It was lighting up. Mm -hmm. He knighted me when he did that, when the sword was lighting up. Who, so, who did you see in heaven? Who did you tell me you saw? Uh, another family member? Mm -mm. Who, who baptized Jesus? John? I saw John in heaven, the, the guy that baptized Jesus. That's all. What did you see with the stones? The stones? About the four stones and the grapes and the cups. So, so there's there was this angel. It's it it, it had it had about five rocks. The one turned into a grape. And then this is the one I didn't tell you about. The five the uh, the last rock turned into the sword of God. Yeah. And so. How many stones was it? Five. So there was there was a there was five stones. There was the grapes, the grapes, the was, cup, the, the sodium cup, and then the sword of God. Okay. And then the and then another one showed up. God said, "You're missing another one. Your third eye." And so he he showed me a picture of your third eye. Mm. He he showed me a picture of your third eye. I'll show it to you in a little bit. And so, so, so you can see. And so he said, and so, and I appeared. It was one, and, and so he said, it was, it was, it was a um, big, it was a big eye. It was a big third eye. It said, he said, um, it said that I'm giving, that he said, that God is giving me messages to tell your third eye. And so the more you're telling your, the more God is telling your third eye, the more you're gonna tell your moms, and the more your mom's gonna um, get, get, 
get to understand the the stuff that 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 you're saying. You, your moms are trying to, pre, to prepare you. So when the stuff, so when the bad stuff happens, God is so when the bad stuff happens. But we be prepared. That's Caleb or Cynthia who show. And so, hold on. Okay, so brothers and sisters, I pray that you all um, enjoy that video and I pray that you will take everything spoken to the Most High Father. The last thing I just want to show you right here, the details. This video was recorded on November 25th of 2019. Okay, so this is just confirmation. The Father is really speaking and I, I pray that uh, no one rejects knowledge. I pray that you would take everything to the Father for prayer. And receive your own revelation and confirmation. And I pray, I pray that you will be blessed. If you don't know Christ Yahushua, Hamashiach is your Lord and Savior. If you have not submitted to him, I pray that you do so. Because our King is coming soon. And he is speaking and sending messages and revelations for us all to get understanding. To get closer to him before destruction comes. Please allow him into your life so that you can be filled with his light. Amen.